So I'm still working on stuff for Axial Fest. I need to get the lights going in the UMG4 and get it ready to rock and roll. I've made some changes under the hood to it. So I've taken away some of the uh, side panels that are over here. Uh, I've taken it down from a two-stage transmission to a single stage. Uh, moved the speed control uh, into the battery tray since I'm going to be running uh, shorties on it. Uh, started on to some of my wiring on the lights, but I still got a ways to go. And uh, uh, my base camp arrived yesterday, so um, that is uh, a car that I'm starting to play around with, see what it'll do, etc. Um, I pretty much plan on leaving it stock. I, uh, I, well, maybe, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens with the base camp. The uh, truck that's been my focus right now is the Green 55. Um, so what you're seeing here is I've uh, deconstructed the vehicle. So I went from a rotary motor over to a uh, castle censored uh, brushless. I know I'm not a brushless guy, but this is a trail truck, uh, hence the uh, tires that are on it. The uh, lights, on the other hand, um, it was running a uh, LED strip in there that looked remarkably like this which does not crawl well. The adhesive has a tendency of letting go, uh, so that had to go. So uh, what you're looking at here is me figuring out the lights. Since there's some yellow in the lights here, I'm adding in a little bit of a yellow flourish in the lights on the vehicle as well. And now you'll notice that there isn't a snot ball of, uh, of uh, glue on the frame rails here. That's deliberate. The uh, It's fine on trucks like the, uh, you know, like when you're looking at my Jeep or the American flag truck, but uh, this is actually gonna be a little bit more of a trail truck and a little bit more for show. So I need to be a lot more discreet and a lot more deliberate with the lights and the placement. So there's going to be a lot of me trying to run lights, trying to hide lights, you know, making it not quite so stand outy, uh, which means that I'll be cutting up a lot of plastic, making light channels, and trying to figure out how I'm gonna wire this thing. So uh, I've got a couple more lights left to go and uh, lots to figure out, but uh, that's where we're at. 